a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. This is going to be a preview to our Philadelphia Flyers against the Tampa Bay Lightning, the defending champions, back-to-back -back champions, as they're trying to go for a three-peat this season, as we have the battle of two of the league's best goaltenders in Carter Hart and, of course, one of the guys still only 27 years old, but has been one of the best at it for a while now in Tampa Bay, and a big reason why they're back-to-back -back champs in Andre Vazileski. So let's get right into tonight's tilt. The spread is minus 1.5 to the Lightning, plus 1.5 to the Flyers. The over-under is 5.5 with a minus 130 money line and a plus 110 to the Philadelphia Flyers. I feel like this is going to be a game where the goaltenders really do come up huge because both of these teams, the Flyers particularly, to try to get their goaltending, or not goaltending, goal scoring going, I should say, are going to be, I think, trying to push the offense a little bit more because they know Tampa has a very good, solid offense in its own right, obviously. Even with Kucherov out, there's still very good players on that team to be able to produce at a very high clip, like Steven Stamkos in particular, obviously. And they still have a very good veteran like Alex Kalorn. The former Flyer prospect, Patty Maroon, tends to play well when he returns. And then they have Braden Point, who's an absolute wizard on the ice. So this team is still... And then Palat, who's usually been considered one of the better and rightfully so underrated players in hockey. So this is still a mighty dangerous team. This is a team that seems to be playing more in the regular season and like taking the regular season a little bit less as a grain of salt, which makes sense because they have a different roster structure. This is like that one Hawks team after they lost a bunch of people after the Cup and are now regrouping with still having a lot of their core guys that you want to keep around, but then kind of regrouping within of filling the pieces of the puzzle around and doing a fantastic job at doing so. And it helps when you have a very great goaltender and a very great leader in Steven Stamkos to begin that process. Um, but when it comes to these two teams, stats-wise, goals, the uh, Lightning are ranked 12th at 3.07. The Flyers are all the way down at 23rd after a hot start to the season at 2.73. Shots on goals were in the middle at 14. The Lightning are actually lower than us on that, but shots on goals don't matter. I want to score more goals. I want to be opportune. I would rather be an opportunist team that scores more goals than a team that is better on the shots on goal territory, but cannot be able to consistently pot goals. Because if you were where the Lightning are ranked at 23rd, but at 3.07 goals per game, that's a much better success right there continuously. The Lightning are also more middle of the pack at 17th on the power play. The Flyers are all the way down to 26th. I sound like a broken record talking like a um, talking about a struggling power play because the Lehigh Valley Phantoms have a absolutely monstrosity of a power play this far this season, and that is really what the Flyers have as well, all the way down at 15.6%. Um, when it comes to face-offs, though, the Flyers are still very good in that field at third in the league, and then when it comes to goals allowed, their defense has been much better this year. They're at third. Shots on goals allowed, they have allowed a bunch of shots, but Martin Jones and Carter Ha have been absolutely fantastic, who's starting tonight against the great Andre Vasilevsky, one of the best goalie matchups of the season thus far. And then when it comes to the penalty kill, the Flyers are very solid and sharp. The Lightning are a wee bit better. It's the 11th team for a Philadelphia Flyers against the 10th best penalty kill. Um, so, PK very good, which is the same thing for the Phantoms. PP, penalty kill, very good. And then power play, um, not so good for the Philadelphia Flyers or Philadelphia Flyers. But we are, of course, the epitome of consistency record-wise at 4-2-1 and one home and away, with our division record being 2-0-1. Oh, and, and, of course, we won the last tilt. So we have a one-game streak going as, of course, the Lightning won two in a row and actually have a really good 4-1-1 away record and a 4-2-2 and two home record. So this is a game that the Lightning obviously... On paper, um, I think most experts, well, from stuff I've been reading, have them favored it over our Flyers, but we know how well Philly loves having that underdog mentality. 
I think the Flyers are going to play a good game tonight. I think this is going to be a game that comes down to a one-goal game or potentially a two-goal game because of an empty netter that seals it for whatever team. I'm not really about to make predictions because I was so wrong last year when I did those, so I'll just leave us at the mercy of not doing that. But I will say this is going to be a great game to the end because no matter what happens, if the Flyers or Lightning have an off game, they both have really good goaltenders that can still make the game a fight to the end game as well. So that's why I feel like this is just going to be a one-goal differential or two-goal differential due to, the, obviously, the factor of an empty net goal. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant evening. Let's go Flyers. Let's bring that bring it to broad energy to the Lightning and try to strike down the bolts. Peace out, everybody, and have a good night.